In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with binomial distributions and probability. Example A says the probability of scoring above 75% on a math test is 40%. What is the probability of scoring below 75%? So this is an example of, event, of an event with two possible outcomes. You can either score above 75% or you can score 75 or below. So it's one or the other. And if the probability of scoring above 75% is 40%, that means the probability of scoring below 75%, or possibly also including 75%, would be 60%. The reason is, if it's one or the other, the two probabilities have to add up to 100%. So if the probability of above 75% is 40, then the probability of below is 100% minus 40%, which is 60%. So that's an important thing to remember in binomial distribution situations. It's either one or the other, and so the two probabilities have to add up to 100%. Example B, a fair die is rolled 10 times. Let x be the number of rolls in which we see a two. So we're interested in getting a two, or not getting a 2. What is the probability of seeing a 2 in any one of the rolls? So in general, the probability of getting a 2 will be 1 out of 6, because with a die, there are 6 possible outcomes, and they all have an equal probability. So the probability of getting a 2 in general is 1 out of 6. Now the next question is different. What is the probability of seeing a 2 exactly once in the 10 rolls? So that's going up to here with our random variable. And we're looking for what's the probability that x, the number of rolls we see at 2, is equal to 1, so that we see exactly 1, 2. So here we can use our binomial distribution formula. The probability that x equals 1 will equal the number of ways that we could get exactly 1, 2. And since there are 10 rolls, there's 10 C1, choose one ways to get exactly one, two in those 10 rolls. And we have to multiply that by the probability of getting a two and the probability then of not getting a two for those other nine times. So for the one time we get a two, the probability of that is one sixth. So one sixth is the first power because we're rolling a two exactly once. Now every time that we don't roll a two, we have to roll something else. So the probability of not rolling a 2 is 5 out of 6. Keep in mind, these two probabilities have to add up to 1, because you either roll a 2 or you don't. And we're going to not roll a 2 9 times. We raise that to the ninth power. Now all we need to do is calculate this out. And you can use your calculator to help you definitely. And it ends up being 0.322. So the probability of seeing exactly one two in 10 rolls is about a third, 0.322. Example C is a similar question to example B. A fair die is rolled 15 times. Let x be the number of rolls in which we see a two. So again, we're thinking about are we getting a two or not a two? So getting a two is like our success, not a two is our failure. And this time we're rolling the die 15 times. Just like before, the probability of seeing a two in general is one sixth because the die has six numbers on it. What is the probability of seeing a two exactly twice in the 15 rolls? Okay, so we're looking for the probability that x, the number of twos, equals two. So this time there were 15 rolls and out of those 15 rolls, we want to choose two of them where the twos will appear because we want to see a two exactly twice. So this is the number of ways to get two twos out of the 15 rolls. But now we have to multiply in the probabilities. The probability of getting a two twice is one sixth, which is the probability of a two squared. So the fact that we have a two right here means that we have to have a two right there. Now, for all of the 13 rolls that we're not getting a two, we are not getting a two, so the probability of that is five sixths, 
and we're raising that to the 13th power because there are 13 times we're not getting a 2. Remember that the 13 and this 2 will always add back up to your total number of trials, which was 15 in this case. And again, we just need to evaluate this, and the calculator can be a big help with that. And we end up with an answer of about 0.272.